You know, Stephen's one of the only people that actually understands me and understands what I went through going to North Carolina. He did so much for the people there and he went through a lot emotionally and he's his personal life and his life has taken a toll in his business and everything because of all this stuff that he's doing to help other people and I honestly I'm like so fucking grateful to him and it pisses me off that like Emily and them and barbecue and their rich friends all over there sitting there talking about how selfish I am because I'm upset that barbecue didn't take time to raise awareness about North Carolina on our platform. In fact, none of them really did. They didn't make it a a thing. They didn't do anything with it. They didn't support me and rally behind me like I have always rallied behind them. When we went to North Carolina, I didn't even think to ask my fiance if it was something we could do. I obligated him to go. I didn't ask his family how it might affect them. And it did affect them. Things like, I didn't know our trailer needed new tires. I didn't think about the fact that my fiance had just quit his job so that he could help me with the business. And we had no real steady income coming in. I didn't think about any of these things. All I thought about was going to help the people in North Carolina. I didn't think about the fact that there was a hurricane coming to my own state. Or how I might be affected when I come back. And I'm grateful to my man for putting up with me and supporting me throughout this whole trip and not complaining not once. He's fucking amazing. Really, honestly, he's the true MVP player in all of this. He made this trip happen and made it a good trip. He made it fun. He made it worthwhile. He made me feel good about doing it. And he supported me. And there are many people who supported it. But I don't have money. I live in a trailer. I got divorced. And it hit me so hard that I could barely function. I got my real estate license. I sold my house and I bought a trailer. And it's all I got. I don't have a house. I don't have a big fancy house to live in. I don't have a modular home or a double wide. I have a pull along trailer. And then I moved in with my fiance to help him and his mom. And my trailer got taken over by rodents. And so now we're recovering the trailer and we're, we had to go through a lot of work to fix it and get it where it needs to be to be livable again so that we can live in it. We were neglecting it because we were taking care of Mama's house because Mama lost her twin sister. And she's emotionally grieving and dealing with other things that she shouldn't have to worry about. The house and the things that need to be fixed up around the house and the problems that you have when you own a house. All the reasons I didn't want to own a house and why I sold it and bought my trailer because I was tired of the upkeep and the problems and the issues when I got divorced and it was just me and single and I my air, AC broke and my pool pump broke and my lawnmower broke and everything was falling apart on me and I, I didn't want to deal with it. I was like, fuck it, I'm selling my house and I'm buying a trailer. And I took some time off of work to recover mentally. And then I meet Mike who's fucking amazing who's amazing but we ain't got money we decided to do the rich door rich dad poor dad plan and gave up my real estate career so that I could help build this laser business and a tattoo shop a dream that I've had my whole life to have my own tattoo shop and we have our wood burning business and it's doing good but it's slow rollings it takes time to build a business These ladies have done it. They've built their business. They got their brand. They're making money. Good for them. 
I'm inspired at by that. That's why I follow them. I love boss babes. But then I make a video calling them boss babes because they're out there being flashy with their money and they take it as an insult. And then Barbecue gets on her platform and bashes me for two hours because I dared to call her boss babe and comment about her, her their fancy clothes and how it was cute, what they were wearing and what they were doing. But they took offense to it because they don't want people knowing that they got money. Why? Because they're out there begging for money. Well, you can't be begging for money and flashing money like at the same time. I don't have my nails done. I didn't take money and go get my nails done. I didn't take money and and get my hair did. This is something I did myself. I don't have fresh highlights. I don't have nails. I'm not taking people's GoFundMe money and using it for shit like that. Come back to work. I work at the flea market. Come back to work and the flea market's closed. I was expecting to come back. I was like, I could take a week off. I can't take a whole fucking month off. I come back, we got hit by a hurricane. Couldn't work for two more weeks. I'd already taken a week off. We live paycheck to paycheck, week to week. I had a truck payment due and I was upset about what happened in North Carolina, the shit that we had seen. Me and Steven are gonna do a YouTube and we're gonna talk about it because it needs to be talked about. Awareness needs to be raised. These people still need help. It's gonna take them years. Never in my life have I seen devastation like what I saw in North Carolina. And yet it hurts. It hurts that I rally behind them and I use my platform and I do this wood burning raffle and take all this time to support their billboard and their effort. But when I ask them for help, when I ask barbecue for help, specifically barbecue, I felt like she didn't answer. And I felt like when I came back and seen them all making their videos, it felt like a smack in the face. It felt like a smack in the face. And then what I did for North Carolina, it was great, but we could have done so much better. And they still need so much more help. And I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because $22,000 was spent out of spite for Billboard seven months after Sebastian Rogers went missing. But they can't even get on their platforms and do lives with me and rally me to help me raise money for North Carolina. I looked up to these people. I really did. I really thought that they were good people. <laughs> and now we're seeing the true color shine. But I'm the selfish one. Stay salty, bitches. You know, Steven's one of the only people that actually understands me and understands what I went through going to North Carolina he did so much for the people there and he went through a lot emotionally and he's his whole personal life and his life has taken a toll on his business and everything because of all this stuff that he's doing to help other people. And I honestly, I'm like so fucking grateful to him and it pisses me off that like Emily and them and barbecue and their rich friends all over there sitting there talking about how selfish I am because I'm upset that barbecue didn't take time to raise awareness about North Carolina on our platform. In fact, none of them really did. They didn't make it a, a thing. They didn't do anything with it. They didn't support me and rally behind me like I have always rallied behind them.
When we went to North Carolina, I didn't even think to ask my fiance if it was something we could do.